good day to everybody here. I know you know the time zone is different. Now let me pull out my slide first uh, before I start my presentation. Okay. Now I think first of all, thank you in the organizer for inviting me to uh, share my view on the current state of the digital enterprise architecture. Um, Aaron actually mentioned uh, project manager. I am not an uh, enterprise architect. I am actually uh, a certified uh, project manager. So I, um, I can appreciate what Aaron said just now that the project manager also need to work very closely with the uh, IT architect, right? Now, so today um, uh, my view is really uh, uh, from uh, a CIO view. I have been using uh, enterprise architecture to run uh, uh, know, IT uh, projects. And uh, most importantly, when I was in the NTUC, the Nas National Trade Union Congress, I used the enterprise architecture to embark and accomplish a transformation journey. So today I am the uh, uh, true believer and strong supporter of the uh, enterprise architecture discipline and the professionals. Now, so before we, uh, we uh, you know, uh, discuss you know, the current state of digital enterprise architecture, perhaps we need to uh, define what do we mean the digital enterprise architecture? Do we mean that you know, uh, to uh, make the, the architecture uh, uh, digitized, that means is you know, all, the, all the documentation, all the model and all this into a digital repository uh, so that everybody can assess it? Or, or we are talking about the business strategy uh, or the IT strategy alignment. Now, um, uh, just now the MC mentioned that uh, I am also teaching uh, in NUS. Um, I have been uh, teaching this subject for the past three years, so I have been reading a lot of literature. And I, uh, I, I felt that since 2016, this term digital enterprise architecture has been has has been you know in many of the literature right now so perhaps you know the 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 terms uh, and the digital enterprise ar architecture is um, you know came about because of the fourth industry revolution right so this uh, fourth industry revolution was introduced in the world economic forum in 2016 so there are many challenges and the price enterprises are facing, they are facing digital uh, disruption and the pace of change is really very fast and most importantly the, the consumer and the customer they are empowered. They are, they are more loyal to the experience, they are less loyal to the product and services. Now so, so because of the, the industry revolution, because of the enterprises they need to uh, you know, face the challenges of the digital disruption. So many literature actually say that the, the IT is, is not just supporting business. The IT is actually business. Uh, the IT actually enable, is a key enabler to new uh, business offering. And, and likewise, the, the, the role of enterprise architecture or uh, all the architects, uh, the role has been changed. Right, so this is an article from uh, Gartner. Uh, Gartner has been uh, saying that in since 2016, they have been saying that the uh, uh, enterprise architecture must be a business uh, outcome driven, right? Yeah. Uh, so uh, these two uh, sentences are from this article. So uh, uh, Gartner, you know, has been advocating that uh, we are talking about digital business, right? Yeah. We are talking about, you know, the uh, the digital business uh, become an in in integral part of the business strategy, right? And uh, they use the term chief digital officer. I I use this term. I mean, I would I would think that even chief uh, information officer, even chief digital officer, they have a role, you know, to lead uh, uh, the the move into the digital business. Then now we are we are talking about. Uh, a digital business strategy, uh, which is not just a business strategy and IT strategy alignment. 
Now then, what is a, a digital business strategy, right? Yeah. Now, uh, in tool one A, uh, Gartner, uh, you can see the the title here. I mean the the, the footnote here. Uh, uh, in the Gartner uh, EA summit, uh, they talk about digital uh, business strategy. I mean as a as a as a CIO and also uh, as a trainer, uh, sometimes you know. Um, we spend a lot of time debating uh, what is digital transformation, and I find this slide very useful, right? So you can look at this uh, concept diagram here. So um, uh, the, in terms of digital business strategy, there are two aspects. One aspect is really, you know, talking about uh, digital optimization. The other one is actually talking about business transformation, right? Now, in the area of the digital optimization, that's what Gartner say. I also agree to some extent that what they have been, you know, um, advocating. So for digital optimization, uh, the first the first point here is really the productivity gain, the product improvement. But most importantly, you know, uh, most of the enterprises they need to improve the customer experience, especially for uh, some of the enterprises. You know, uh, they may even need to go on to the omni-channel customer experience, and 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 that kind of um, uh, uh, transformation work is not simple. Involve a lot of business process, uh, uh, you know, streamlining and re-engineering. But most importantly, if the enterprises want to go on to the business transformation, they need to invent new products and services. They may even need to, you know, uh, look into the new business model. Now, so so for any, you know, uh, technology exploitation at the last scale, and I call it transformative scale, uh, it involve uh, involve a lot of. Uh, uh, areas, right? So it's actually a very complex journey, right? Um, first of all, you know, uh, it involves uh, uh, a cross-functional team from different backgrounds come together, you know, to work on a common goal. Now, then the other one is we require everybody, all level, not even just the C level, all level, the working level, even the bottom level, you know, to have a new way of thinking, right? And most importantly, you know, we are. Uh, talking about creating new uh, business value, we are uh, thinking about you know um, uh, capturing the strategic value. It's not at the tactical level; it's really at the strategic level. And uh, and uh, you know if you are talking about you know optimization, as just now the Gartner slide, right? Uh, some of the operating model uh, will be changed, right? Yeah, the business process uh, you know will be will be streamlined or re-engineered. But if you are talking about new business model, then you know a lot of new, you know, capabilities uh, ought to be you know uh, uh, developed and uh, implemented, right? Yeah, and and uh, and and in my opinion, and also my past experience so far, and I need a tool, right? Uh, Aaron actually mentioned project manager. Yes, I I, I have been a pro uh, certified project manager. In the good old day, we use a project management skill to manage this kind of uh, complexity, this kind of you know um, um, uh, you know uh, IT delivery, right? Uh, but but I I I. I actually have used enterprise architecture as a management tool to drive all this transformation journey. Now this is um, ISA. I'm very happy to to know that you know it's no longer uh, talking about IT architect. You know, just now Aaron said that the uh, uh, ISA has been rebranded. Even the term IT architect become a business technology architect, right? Yeah. Now so so uh, you know ISA actually defi the ISA definition of IT architect is really a technology architect for the business. Now, so, so the, the uh, I mean, this is, this is a, a basic concept of enterprise uh, domain, right? So we are talking about enterprise architecture. Uh, it comprises of four domains, the business architecture, the application architecture, the information architecture, and the, te the technical architecture or the infrastructure architecture. And very often, different Different domain will be done by different uh, architect, and and they look at the, the 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 domain and they they actually model the domain from their own perspective. Now, um, my own experience is when I talk to different uh, uh, architecture or when when I actually you know work with. The enterprise architecture team, you know, to uh, 
uh, to model the, 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 the EA for my uh, business. Uh, uh, very often I found that uh, different architects come from different domain or if they are trained in different tools, they often see the domain from their own perspective. And, and sometimes, sometime, right, and I found that they focus too much on the IT, IT architecture and, uh, and uh, the, the, the effort on the business architecture is not enough, right? Now, so this is uh, another, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, bullet point from the Gartner article, right? So um, uh, the Gartner article actually say that, you know, um, the business architecture is is a very uh, essential uh, and very strategic part, you know, to the to the business and the technology changes, right? Yeah, um, and. Uh, uh, when uh, when I actually uh, you know deal with the uh, architect, I, I I would be very impressed you know if they spend a lot more time on the business architecture right, and, and in my in the in my past experience sometimes they go too fast you know into the the IT architecture they don't spend enough time in the in the business architecture right, and uh, and sometimes they they can't even you know. Uh, um, indirect or they can't even you know relate the, the topic uh, to my business user now so so uh, uh, it now bring into this this uh, this uh, point of the changing role of the architect I've been he hearing a lot of discussion that you know the uh, the IT architects you know uh, the role are change and changes right uh, last year I was in this conference right I also heard Paul uh, mentioning that you know the IT architect is a change agent, right? So I absolutely agree all this you know uh, thinking, right? Yeah. But most importantly, I I I feel that you know the um, the 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 the, uh, the the uh, the 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 EA is more than just you know the doing the uh, uh, the business and the IT uh, strategy alignment. And, uh, and if the, the enterprise architects, you know, uh, could actually play an important role uh, in the leadership team, right, helping me, like helping the, the management, uh, helping the IT management, you know, helping the chief digital officer or the CIO or the chief technology officer to shape new, uh, you know, digital capability for the organization and to actually invent new business uh, opportunity, uh, uh, you know, uh, that would be a very, very good, you know, um, uh, uh, value added, you know, uh, 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 services, you know, to the organization. Now, so, so the, 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 the way that you know I, I see the, the EA management process also change when we are talking about the digital transformation right now this is the traditional five step uh, approach uh, I gone through this kind of uh, approach in, uh, in many many exercises when I was in the public sector you know uh, even when I just joined uh, 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 NTUC right so so the architecture team would come in to say that look you know we need to uh, document that at ease right then we we have to look at the, the, the gap, you know, then we identify opportunity. Then after that, we then uh, they, 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 they will actually propose the to be stage, right? Then they come up with the transition plan. Then after that, the implementation plan. Now, uh, this, this approach may not be, uh, this approach is necessary for certain organization, but actually we are, if we are talking about digital transformation, uh, most of the time the business user has no patience to go through this uh, traditional approach, right? Yeah, and uh, they actually, you know, want to want to spend time with us to talk about the new business model, to talk about the customer experience, right? Yeah, and uh, and and uh, the, you know uh, they even you know. Uh, uh, want want to uh, you know uh, look into the business processes, right? Yeah. Now, so um, uh, uh, and everything would be more uh, uh, business uh, driven, right? Yeah. And and everything you know is governed by the business contact, right? Um, 
of course, you know, some of you uh, has been in the enterprise uh, architecture discipline. Uh, you may even say that, no, we, you have been doing that in the past, yes. I mean, the, uh, at the end of the day, the IT strategy must meet the business strategy. But increasingly, you know, uh, my own uh, experience is the, the business actually, uh, 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 the business contact becoming more important. So. Aaron also talked about it just now that even ISA also rebrand, you know, is more business driven, it's, it's about business technology, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's more so, you know, as compared in the past. Now, so then the other one, the other one, I, I feel that the current stage of the digital enterprise, you know, in terms of the processes, uh, we cannot afford, you know, to have a very long process to come up with all the you know, uh, architecture modeling and all this. Although, you know, Aaron did share with me that, like just now he also shared, some of the industry already have all the, all the, you know, uh, repository, you know, populated already, right? But even that, you know, I feel that, you know, uh, uh, we should have a more lightweight uh, enterprise architecture framework. The first year when I uh, was asked to, to uh, teach this subject, right, I have students argue with me that, you know, uh, Enterprise architecture is not uh, uh, applicable for the startup and the, and the SME because things are more uncertain, things are more agile, right? Yeah, and they even argue with me that by the time you know the architect had completed all the documentation, the opportunity may be gone already. Uh, but to me, uh, the methodology is 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 an enabler. It's the human that using the the methodology. We could actually use the same methodology and make it more lightweight. Um, recently, I have uh, uh, used some of the methodology uh, to come up with, you know, uh, uh, some kind of lightweight uh, architecture, uh, you know, um, uh, I can't call it framework, but some kind of, you know, the architecture process to conduct actually business visioning uh, workshop. Now, so now let, let me go on to, uh, you know, share with you one of the use case. I have been using this use case to conduct the business uh, visioning workshop, right? Uh, I don't know this company. I just, uh, you know, randomly uh, use this uh, uh, company. I discovered this company from a news article, from a Swiss Time article. So I use this company, you know, as a use case to uh, conduct my uh, business visioning workshop. Basically, actually, is the business architecture, uh, you know, domain, right? Yeah. Now, so a little bit background of this company. This company, you know, because of COVID-19, right, he has to, uh, you know, move all his, um, uh, I mean, he, he run a physical bookshop, right? So um, because of COVID-19, nobody visit his uh, physical bookshop. Then he actually move all his, um, uh, you know, business to the online, right? Yeah. Now, so uh, uh, after he moved all the business to the online, uh, if we are the consultant, we are the digital consultant to this uh, guy here. His name is Kenny, right? Yeah. So what other uh, new business opportunity uh, we can actually propose to him, right? Yeah. So um, um, he could potentially, you know, uh, do further, you know, uh, uh, automation, uh, right, uh, or further digitization. Uh, for a better productivity gain, like uh, such as the just-in-time uh, order, right? He could actually change his, uh, 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 you know, uh, the role from the retailer to the wholesaler, right? Yeah. Um, he could also, you know, uh, uh, create a new uh, marketplace, or he could even create an ecosystem, you know, uh, uh, for for selling book, right? Now. Then, then how do we how do we articulate the digitization plan uh, to this uh, business owner, right now? So um, uh, the first thing that we need to do really is the business architecture, right? Yeah, and we have to look at the business goal, right? Yeah. So what is your business goal? Is your business goal happy to just sell both, or you also want to go further, right? And uh, uh, you, you know, uh, you if you want to go further, then then we have to look at what kind of business model that you know uh, uh, he would he would need to uh, you know uh, uh, reinvent, right? Yeah. Now, so the methodology that you know uh, 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 you know uh, used by the by 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 some of the some of the uh, you know BA framework, the business architecture framework is really the business model canvas. Go to the business model canvas. 
work out the customer relation, work out like what are the customer segment, the value proposition, and so on and so forth, right? Yeah. Then he has also need to reimagine the customer journey, right? Yeah. Um, uh, then uh, then also need to define the customer uh, persona. He need to identify the customer joy, I mean customer jobs, the pain and the gain, right? Now then then we have to go on to look at the business capability model of this company, and look at you know uh, what are the business capability that he may he may he may you know remove like for instance he already decided to go online then he could actually remove his uh, physical store he does not need to do the store uh, planning and layout he has less problem with the staff management if he go on to you know uh, work on the uh, a more better productivity gain then he could improve you know uh, the supply chain you know capability he could even digitize some of this capability right yeah now I know the the MC is asking, telling me that you know I'm running out of time, so I have few more slides to go. Now, uh, I have been using that to uh, uh, talk to the business user. Uh, basically, I told them that you know, uh, or the business, some of the business leader, I have been spending a lot of time, you know, lately the past two years talking to many business leader, right? Um, uh, uh, I told them that you know, don't go straight to the the, the building the digital uh, solution, design or build the digital solution. They need to spend time doing the first uh, four, four, the first five steps, right? They need to envision the business model. They, you know, as I shared earlier, they need to reimagine the customer journey, right? If this is a B2B, it's a user journey. They need to determine the business uh, capability, you know. If they are coming up with a new business model, they need to, you know, design. The, the, the new business processes, if they are changing the operating model, they need to redesign the business processes and most importantly, they need to reskill and upskill the people, right? Yeah. Now so if this has been the the the, the, the journey for 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 come for enterprise, you know, uh, uh, to to address the challenges, you know, uh, in terms of digital disruption, perhaps the terms of uh, and digital enterprise architecture is the architecture of a digital enterprise, right? Now, so um, I, uh, I, I let me stop here. Uh, I have end my, ended my presentation. Let me, let me stop here and, uh, and I could actually answer a couple of Q&A, yeah. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kong. I think it's a very uh, interesting uh, presentation and uh, showing uh, also the relationship between uh, uh, project and also uh, EA itself. And in here, we have one question uh, from Nima. Um, he said that, uh, thank you for your presentation regarding the lightweight EA for SME. Do you think the architecture should show information flow between domains and layer? Have front end and back end, for instance, or is it not on the purpose of EA? Okay, uh, Anima, uh, this is a very good question, right? It, it's also uh, the, uh, the question that I have been asking my enterprise architecture team as well, right? Um, uh, uh, th there should be iteration, right? There should be inform information flow from domain to domain. Um, uh, uh, there has been a question that, you know, should we just do a, a water, I mean, should we, for, for, I mean, the question to me is, uh, whether my question also to my enterprise architecture is like this, you know, should we do the business architecture, finish, then go to the uh, application architecture, then we go on to the information architecture, and then we go on to the the, um, the technical architecture. Uh, my own experience is not so neat. It's not like, you know, it's, it's, it's one step after another. It's a step-by-step -step process. The whole thing is an iterative uh, process, right? Yeah. Mm. 